I want to show you a way to manage auto pans within a Dolby Atmos session. This is going to be a Pro Tools thing, but there might be ways to do something similar in your DAW. If that's the case, please leave a comment below. I'd love to find out how you can do this in other DAWs. First of all, thanks so much for coming by today to check out the video. If you're new to the channel, I have some links down below in the comments. There are some Atmos templates available and maybe something a little new you might be interested in down there. There's also some affiliate links I have to some other developers that I partner with. Clicking on links and checking that stuff out, it helps support me and the channel, and I really appreciate it. Full disclosure, I didn't come up with this. I learned this from my buddy, Warren David, who is doing Atmos mixing up in Nashville. He's done a lot of really cool stuff. You can search for his name on Apple Music and check out a bunch of the mixes that he's done. And he's got a website and some other stuff available. So I want to show you a way to manage auto pans within a Dolby Atmos session template however you want to do it. I like having a lot of auto pans available for me to just move stuff so that if I want to have something moving in a particular way, I basically just route right to that augs and it just starts going. But setting that stuff up and managing it within a session is a whole different story. So I want to show you a way to kind of set this stuff up and manage it yourself. Now, if you're thinking, hey, I don't want to build all this stuff myself. Can I just get these auto pans somewhere? Well, stick around to the end of the video or fast forward if you want, because I think I might have something for you that you will appreciate. Blank Pro Tools session, sort of. I mean, there's some tracks they're hidden, but for all intents and purposes, let's say blank. Pro Tools session, I'm going to start by creating a stereo instrument track. You're thinking, stereo instrument? Why would I do that? Why am I not creating an AUGS? Hang with me. I'm going to show you. It'll all make sense. Uh, we'll name this Auto Panner. I'm going to find a couple of objects that are available. We'll do 15 and 16, route to those objects, and I'm going to turn off the control for now, because I have the external renderer running today. You do not need to be using the external renderer to do this, though. You can just do this in the internal renderer. You won't hear it, but that's okay. We're not going to listen today. I'm just showing you how to manage this stuff. So we want the Atmos Music Panner plugin. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to three finger salute on this box. That's Control, Option, and Command. Clicking right there, that's going to enable all of the automation parameters for the plugin. Down here on automation, I'm going to hit write so that it will actually write automation. And now I'm going to just kind of create an auto panner. So I'm going to use the sequencer here. I'm going to hit edit. And here we'll just do like a circle and we'll hit done. And we'll do mirror XY. So now we can see that it'll spin around. Uh, we'll slow this down. And I want it to go the other way. I don't know why. I just like stuff rotating the other way. And maybe a little faster. Oops, I wasn't clicked on the right one. There, go the other way. All right. Okay, so a little bit of an auto panner there. Great. So I've got it programmed in. I want to do a couple of things here. Uh, let's let's set up a couple of variations on this. So I'm going to go into my automation data and I'm going to go to step duration here. And I'm going to say, let's see, from bar five, and then we'll do another four bars. I'm going to slow it down. So we'll go to eight. So now I've got that selected. Let's put this guy into touch and here we go. I'm just going to write the automation. As 
So you can see it's slowed down when it changed the step duration. So bear with me. This will all make sense. Okay, great. So that's all done. So now I'm going to go up to automation under the edit, duplicate Dolby Atmos plugin automation to pan automation. Great. Now, if we look at here, let's do this. We'll go audio pan lanes with automation. So you can kind of see how they change the speed, right? So I wrote, you know, four bar, you know, they're four bar loops, basically, of the panner, right? Put it back in grid mode. Four bar loops. Songs longer than four bars. So what do we do? Well, this is why I use the instrument track. And this is the thing that Warren showed me. If I go into clips, if I hit shift option three, I just created a clip right on that instrument track. Because instrument tracks, they're basically auxes with MIDI on them. I don't need to use the MIDI. I do need a bus. Let's, uh, here, let's just put it into, here we go, auto pan. Sure. So the input's the auto pan. Now I'm going to go from bar five. I'll do another four bar selection. And again, I'm going to create another clip. Why do we want these clips here? Well, because now if we have this little guy right here, automation follows edit turned on, Anywhere I move this clip, I just moved my pan automation. Right? And now if I need more of these, I can just hit duplicate. Now I've got, you know, a whole song's worth, two songs worth. If I want to change the speed in the middle, you know, we can copy that. Let's say I want to change the speed right here. Let's put it in shuffle mode, paste it, shifts everything. So it's just a way to kind of manage this. And this way in a session, I can have, you know, my auto pan tracks with a whole bunch of these clips on them, basically, with different speeds. Whichever one I need, I can check them and go, okay, I like that one or I like that one for a sound. And then I can just cut and paste it all over the place. So this just makes it a little easier for me to work because I'm not usually working in the external renderer. I'm usually in the internal renderer these days. If I have all these in my session to begin with, I can just put the one I want underneath the song I want and get the duration right and let it go. The other thing that's really nice for me is a lot of times I'm working on live projects and I might have two, three, four, eight songs, whatever. All those tempos are going to change. Well, with this in ticks mode right here, no matter what the tempo is of the session, this will change to follow it. So right now, you know, if we open our panner window, let's turn this back on so that we can actually see what's going on. You know, if the tempo is a little faster, it'll speed up. If it's slower, it slows down. So it'll stay in time with the session. And if I need something faster or slower for a different song, I can just grab that clip duplicate it as long as I need it. And I've got my whole song the way I want it. So it's just a, a way to work to not have to flip over to the external renderer, open the plugin, program the thing in, or I've actually got some presets in there that'll load moves and things like that for me. But this way I've got it all in the session and it's all ready to go. So that's just a way that you can manage auto pans in your session. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, gosh, I don't want to program all of these. Is there just like a library of existing auto pans that you can use? Well, 
there actually is. I have a new sort of Pro Tools session available up in my store. If you want to go pick it up, you can get at it now. I have a whole bunch of different auto pans that I have already programmed that do a lot of different things. So you can see I've got ones that rotate. If you want to change the height on these, you'll be able to change the height on them. If you want to change the way the mode works, you can change it so that they go higher as they go to the center. Like there's a lot of different ways you can modify these and they're different tempos and different speeds in the clips. So, so you can visit my shop on my website. There's a link down below if you want to pick up some of these auto pans so that you've just got them. They're there for you now. You can go grab them. So if you got a way of doing auto pans, if there's specific moves that like you really like to do with auto pans, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Always looking for new ideas and new things to try. But thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.